Hi, in this video we're going to look at a very, very easy way of joining pieces of text together, text in different cells, join them together so they appear in one cell. So our scenario is we would want to join first, middle and last names together with a space between each name. Now there's always been lots of ways of doing this through concatenation of one sort or the other in Excel, but text join makes the whole thing just much easier. So this text join function is available in Excel 2016 later if you have an Office 365 subscription. So let's have a go using the text join function. So the first argument is the delimiter argument. Now the delimiter is the thing that's going to separate each field, first, middle and last name. So in our example that would be obviously the space, but it could be a dash, a slash or something like that. And the next argument is really useful. It allows you to state whether you're going to ignore or include empty cells. Now, for example, Brianna there does not have uh, a middle name. So we want to ignore that empty cell in that, uh, that row. So we're going to go for true, ignore empty cells, comma. And then you get these text arguments. You can see you can have multiple text arguments. What we want to do is just uh, specify the whole of this row here as our text argument. You can state a range within each argument if you want to. Then close the bracket, press enter, and there we have it. It's joined together the uh, different names with a delimiter of a space. Let's take another example. What we want to do here is we want to create a uh, product code here made up of the brand, the month, the year, and some sort of product ID code here. But what we want to do is we want the uh, first delimiter to be a slash and then the rest to be dashes. So we can do that with text join. So what we're going to do is the delimiter, we're going to have to specify more than one delimiter and you can use that by using brace brackets. This is how you kind of uh, uh, specify an array of values. You use brace brackets. So the first delimiter is going to be a slash then, uh, and we're going to have that as a slash there. Then we're going to have a dash. And then we're going to have another dash. And we need a final dash. Okay, and then we finish that off with another set of brace brackets. Um, we haven't got any empty cells in here, so it doesn't really matter what we choose there. Then comma, we're going to specify the range of cells we want to join together. So there we have it. We have beautifully, it's joined together the text with the specified delimiters. If I copy that down, it should work quite nicely. Okay, so that's using the text join function, new in of, uh, Excel 2016, to concatenate or join text together. Thanks for listening. Hopefully that's been helpful.